My name is Ronan Donovan. I'm a visual storyteller for National Geographic. I had the opportunity to go to the Arctic and spend time with wolves that had no fear of humans. You can plan for everything on these types of projects and um, I had never done anything like this, a scope. So thinking of all the elements, logistics, it was a lot of unknowns going into it. Just from a remote standpoint, you know, it's bringing everything you need for three months of work in the remote high Arctic. Trying to find wolves that have no tracking collars on them in a massive tundra landscape that is you know, over a thousand square miles. The plan was to find a pack of wolves, embed with them and spend the next three months documenting their day-to-day -day lives. But that's definitely not what ended up happening. Once I got on the ground, I realized that there were all these challenges that were you know, really unforeseen when I first set out this whole project. Um, and so I had to adapt to wolves that were shy. I had to adapt to camera trap tools not working. I had to physically adapt to injuring myself twice. And ultimately, really just having to keep the motivation and keep the drive to succeed and to finish what I started. I came to the realization that it was time to leave and to leave these wolves to their lives, their wild lives. I was affecting their behavior in a negative way and it was a very challenging decision to make because it meant basically starting over from scratch halfway through the project and so that's half the time to achieve the goal that I set out to and originally had three months and now I just had basically a month and a half. While the goal never changed, I had to shift my drive and mindset in the second half of this project in order to pull it off. I took a huge risk in leaving the first pack and starting over again, trying to find another pack of wolves. But the payoff was that I found a second pack that was larger than the first. Their behaviors were more complex because there were more individuals in this group. I was able to follow them on multiple hunts. A large part of the work is just being able to read the clues to get into the right position to be able to document, photograph, film all these behaviors and wildlife while it's unfolding in front of you. That was about as good as it gets for first meeting a wild wolf. I learned from this project that things don't always go to plan. And it's meticulous in preparation, but there's so many unknowns in this sort of work that um, I now can move into my next project and embrace that idea that there are going to be challenges that come up and I have kind of an increased confidence in myself and my ability to problem solve and realize that those things can inevitably be an asset and make the final result better.